guys welcome back to my channel girls always talk I hope you guys are all doing fabulous yes you heard me fabulous today I'm gonna show you guys a really quick easy way to make oxtail all right so if you guys want to see this get ready and let's do it so here guys I already washed my oxtail and I have put it in the pot that I'm gonna cook it in which is a Jamaican style Dutch pot okay so now guys I'm just gonna go ahead garlic and I'm gonna just cut up some garlic in the same pot everything is gonna go in the same pot okay so I'm gonna put about five cloves of garlic in here because I love garlic garlic has to be in my food okay you guys can see me doing that okay here's another one all the garlic in there and now I'm gonna go ahead and grab some onion I already peeled it size of the onion doesn't matter because I'll tell you by the time it's finished cooking you probably won't see the onion at all okay so chip 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 okay so I got the onion in there I got the garlic in there Go ahead and I'm gonna put a bit of thyme in here as well. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead. You guys can help me. And I'm gonna use some black pepper here, guys. Just a little bit more onion powder because I love my onion like I told you guys and I'm gonna add some all-purpose to this as well all purpose seasoning also gonna add just a little bit of ginger to my oxtail just a bit not too much okay last but not least I'm gonna put some mushroom soy sauce just a teaspoon of soy sauce and also gonna add just a tinch of curry. Not much, just like a teaspoon as well. Just a little bit, just for flavor. And I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some water, guys. four cups of water in here so that's basically I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it 
in the oven. Put it in my oven on about 4, 425 in there somewhere. And I'm going to cover it. for about an hour and then I'm gonna come back and check it by that time the water should be um, dried out and probably need another four cups of water okay so basically you're just gonna probably check it just to make sure that it's soft enough the way you would like to eat it and um, once it's soft enough we're gonna bring it to a gravy I'm gonna add some beans but I'm not gonna add the beans now so I'm just going to go ahead guys and cover it and stick it in the oven. Okay guys, so this is an hour later and this is what it looks like. Pretty soft but not soft enough. So I'm going to add a little bit more water and I'm going to taste it for seasoning if I'm happy with the taste. If not, I will add a little bit more seasoning of the same thing that I put in there before and I will put four cups of water and stick it right back into the oven. Looks delicious. So guys I'm gonna add a little bit more black pepper in there. Just a little bit more. Also, gonna add a little bit more garlic in there, and a little bit more, a little bit more garlic, just a bit, and then a little bit more oil. I'm gonna throw some more onions in there and just a little bit more soy sauce just to get it a little bit darker. I don't like my oxtail too light. I like it with a little bit of color. So I think I need to add just a little bit more soy sauce and stick it right back in the oven for, two, for another hour, sorry. Half an hour later, so I'm just gonna go ahead now and add the beans, and I'm gonna put it back in the oven for another 20 minutes to bring it to a nice thick gravy. And hopefully by then it's yum yum yum. Usually Jamaicans uh, make their oxtail with lima beans. But the mixed beans are just as good and delicious. And my channel and my cooking is about traditional with a little bit of twist cooking done my way. So you guys can try it out and let me know how you like it. Alrighty, so once again, thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you guys like this video. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, if you are not talking, no one's listening what did i say if you are not talking ain't nobody listening big kisses i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye